What a fucking nightmare. Bro, we won game two in Boston, 6-2, to have a good momentum coming down with the short staff Boston Bruins, only to get our ass kicked not once, but twice. We got our fucking ass kicked at home. Talk about karma. Just fucking A. Also, reps were horrible. Please agree with me on this. And and we're shit. What, what can I tell you? We're shit. We knew we're shit coming into the postseason because we barely made it because of the Chicago win over Pittsburgh and New Jersey over Buffalo to get into the playoff spot. We could not be consistent at all. So, yeah, I'm not even panicking. Like, you guys were saying, like, hey, you should panic. No, you know why I'm not panicking? Because, number one, I have the optimism that we could probably turn this thing around. And, number two, it's not so much a panicking more than frustrations, period. And, number three, this was expected. Honestly, it's, it, is so, it is expected to get our asses kicked by the Boston Bruins. How did they do it? I'll talk about it. So, we were giving up penalties right off the bat. And there were a couple of moments where there was a four-on-four and then the power play. Um, and just like that, we were, we were already giving up a goal with Brad, Brad Marchand, which was a power play goal, FYI. Um, Jake, uh, Jake DeBrus with another power play goal, so it was bullshit. Because Kachuk was called on the cross check right when... No, after the first period ended, because there was a there was a there was some um, pushing and shoving, and Kachuk ended up cross checking one of their players. And um, yeah, no, it did not help us at all, whatsoever. And with eight seconds left for the power play, DeBrusque would would make it two nothing. Um, yeah, there was some scuffles, obviously. Nothing compared to the one that that was earlier, which was after the first period ended. So we needed to get something going. We just couldn't get something going. We had, did you know we had more shots on goal than Boston did? Let alone in the in the first period. Let me tell you how many shots that we made compared to Boston. Forty four compared to thirty one. And out of those 44 shots, we only scored twice. So we had 42 shots saved. But there was a moment to remember. Matthew Kachuk's skull, which was the second one of the postseason for Florida. And it was a between-the-legs goal. That was, so, that was really cool. That was a nice between the uh, between the legs goal from Kachuk, and what it was a special one too. We 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 needed the momentum that we needed so badly. In the end, it didn't matter. It didn't matter anyway. But uh, but anyway, second period has uh, ended. And in the third period, uh, Bertuzzi, who, a thief, who stole someone's stick, makes it three one. You gotta save. You gotta. How do you let that goal happen? An unfortunate ricochet to the back of the net, and Bertuzzi gets the goal. Sam Bennett, finally. We were 0 for 9 on a power play in this postseason alone. Last season, in the postseason, we only scored one post power play goal in the postseason compared to 31. 31. The first power play goal for us last season was against Tampa, which was far too late when we got when we were playing the Lightning last season. Presence, Presence Trophy Cup winner, right? We have to give them some sort of fight somehow, right? Barkov, nothing. He, yeah, he had faceoff wins. Which was beneficial. But in the end, what 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 will matter if there is no goals, no assists, no nothing? By the way, if you if you know if you don't know who scored 
the power play goal. It was Sam Bennett. Um, but it didn't matter because right right after the power play goal, it was DeBrusque with his goal. I mean, you can't make this stuff up. The defense, the back line defense was nowhere to be found. We have too many forwards. Um, the formation just makes no sense in the postseason. Barkov is slow. Um, Kachuk is trying. But in the end, he keeps getting himself in some situations with the fight. He keeps getting beaten up. He keeps beating people up. And the referees are calling whatever. And I will say this. There was a goal that was disallowed last night. And I don't mean to bring this up, but I, I got I to make it as a, as a point. The lightning goal that happened last night... And if you if you don't know what I'm talking about, there was a situation where the puck makes it do makes it across the line to the back of the net, but the whistle was blown. The whistle was blown, and the goal was not. The goal was disallowed because of it, and that led to a Toronto victory. The goal that happened, and it was actually a DeBrus power play goal in the second period. Sort of the same similar thing happened. The goal was disallowed, but then they changed it to um, a good goal for that for that goal. Um, actually, I don't even think that was DeBrus. It might have been Marchant in the first period. It might have been. It's one of those power play goals. Now that I think about it, it had to be Marchant. It had to be. My point here is the referees were inconsistent. They let they kind of dictate the outcomes too but all aside with the referees we played terribly we were not prepared it seems like i thought we would be prepared after the ball after that win against boston game two we would look we looked good in boston in boston coming home where boston was short-staffed and coming down to south florida where they didn't win at all in the regular season has now won two in the postseason that is a difference we, I thought we were prepared for games three and four. We were not. We got blown. Especially in game four. We got blown. After that DeBrus goal to make it 4 2, guess what? Eight minutes later, Taylor Hall, he seals, he, te he technically seals the game. He technically seals, uh, seals the game. And. I just love how in the last game, Alex Lyon was subbed off after the third goal of the of the of the third game. But Broski has given up five goals, and they kept them in. What sense does that make? Are you kidding me? So after the th after the fifth goal, there was a there was a brawl where Kachuk was actually getting bullied. I will say bullied if you want to call it that by three Boston players, including the goalie, Linus Ulmark, the goalie. Kachuk wanted to fight him. There was three Boston players who was beating up Matthew Kachuk. And Kachuk wanted a piece, really, the piece of a goaltender. Where, why, why wasn't the referee coming in to break up the fight? Blowing the whistle will not help at all. You just stood there watching it happen. Why did the other players have to come in and try to break it up or beat up others? That is unacceptable in my part. If you defend this and you're a fucking moron. Um, and then, and then to seal it off, really seal it off, Taylor Hall, as he didn't seal off the game already, he scores an empty netter, and that's it. We lost 6-2, to two, um, in Florida against Boston Bruins. We are now down 3-1 in the series. I don't think the 3-1 curse is going to happen for us. You can... Try to have a prayer 
on Tuesday. But at the end of it all, Boston is a damn good team. We never underestimated them. And um, they still found the way to win, even if they're short-staffed. And they got a good coach system. They got everything right. And that's what I'm so envious. Why I, get, why I get a little envious because we had we had the right format like they do now last season. We had it right. However, because we were so terrible in the power play last season, um, Zito um, let go of Andrew Burnett and hired Paul Maurice. Paul Maurice, to his credit, was mediocre at the very best all season long. A lot of Florida Panthers fans, and myself included, I'm not going to lie to you, I was one of those people who had really called for us firing. He, he, 25th season and still have not won a Stanley Cup at all. Not to my knowledge, I don't think he ever won a Stanley Cup. But you would think with all the experience and the good players we had, at the end of it all, what good would that do if the coaching is not that good? Burnett had it all. Uh, well, Quinville's sister was deadly. Maurice does not have that kind of format. He just don't. And that's why I get envious with teams like Boston have a good run like this. I miss it. However, there were a lot of good moments that was good enough to make it to the playoffs. Like that run that we had um, late in the season with Alex Lyon. But I do. I for me, it's like we made the playoffs with help from Pittsburgh loss in Chicago. I would have preferred to make the playoffs earlier. Um, not Prisoners Cup trophy winners by any means. I don't care about that. I care more about making playoffs. I care more about making the playoffs our way. I wanted to do it our way, which is why I was envious with the Boston team. I'm not jealous. I'm envious. So, anyways, GG Boston. You're probably going to win game five with Bergeron possibly coming back game five. We just have no answers with this Boston team except for game two. I'll be shocked if we win game five. I, I really would be shocked. But there's, o there's, always some, there's always a possibility, they must say. There's always that possibility. So, I'm going to watch Game 5. I will watch Game 5. Because if I don't watch Game 5, what 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 kind of a fan I would be, you know? I watched the Florida Panthers get swept last season as President's Cup Trophy winner against the team, the very team that's in their same state, the same dynasty team, and the same team that wins Stanley Cups um, consistently, exception last season. So, yeah, I've been through it. I've been through it all. So, yeah, folks, um, that's gonna do it for this video, folks. Sorry, I, I didn't, I didn't upload right away, but I upload it now. If you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe for content because Miami TVG has it back. When he does, he'll be right there with you for the entertainment you deserve. Also, thank you for the support of these videos. Um, I might consider something in the September month. Maybe even August, considering I want to do something new. And I think with the content that I'm doing, I actually really enjoy it. I, I'm more, I have more energy because the sleep schedule is actually flexed out compared to last season, last year where I got this job and I had to wake up early, which it was a mess. I couldn't do it. But with this new schedule that I have, it actually makes it much more easier. So, yeah. All right. I'm going to go. Uh, tomorrow's Miami Heat. Hopefully we win game four and tell the Florida Panthers to take notes. So, yeah, folks. All right. Hey, everybody.